Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today, the title is correct. New Jersey is coming to the game, but probably not in the way that you would like her to enter this game. And when I read through this article, I had to read this line twice because I, I read it the first time, got super excited, uh, but then I read it again and got super disappointed. And it could be a good thing, as we'll discuss here in a moment. But... They released the developer, developer bulletin for update 11.4. It's kind of like a pre-release for the full patch notes going over some of the content that's going to be coming out in the next patch, which is 11.4. And down here, all the way at the bottom, they note they're having a new collaboration with Azura Lane, which is a mobile game that I don't play, but I know is fairly popular. It is, of course, of the anime variety, so it is hugely popular, naturally. And in it, they note the following. As part of the next stage of our collaboration with Azure Lane, World Warships will see the addition of ships Tier 3 Azure Lane Aurora and Tier 9 Azure Lane Azuma. So now we have three Azuma in-game. The following special permit camouflages Azure Lane New Jersey for Iowa. Azure Lane Formidable for Indomitable and Azure Lane for Shokaku. So right there, of course, when you read through it really quickly, it's like, holy crap, we're getting the New Jersey in this collaboration, kind of like how we got the Latorio in the previous collaboration. But no, they're not even doing that. It's just a permanent camouflage for Iowa that looks like uh, the New Jersey does in Azure Lane. <laughs> we were this close to finally getting New Jersey in the game. So I'll finish going through the um, little patch notes here, then we'll talk more about New Jersey. So we're getting the uh, the Bismarck Commander, the Zara Commander, the Chapiev Commander, the St. Louis Commander, uh, Formidable, and New Jersey, which are characters from the game. Uh, the Azure Lane Aurora and Azure Lane Azuma commemorative flags. Azure Lane Premium containers are going to be updated, so if you have them already in your container section, you will get these updated containers. So you get... Six-time Azura Lane Siren Expendable Camouflages, one of the following commanders, the Dunkirk Jean Bar Saint-Louis, Prince Eugen, Rune, Admiral Hipper, Bismarck, Latorio, Zera, Shokaku, Yukikaze, Azuma, Yatsin, Slavetsky Orosaya, Avoria, Chapayev, Belfast, Nelson, Hood, Neptune, Formidable, Baltimore, Enterprise, Cleveland, Montpellier, or New Jersey with 10 skill points. I almost did that in one breath. And 12 special signals of the same type, Basilisk, Wyvern, Hydra, Dragon, yada yada, so forth and so on. Okay, so, there's two takeaways from this. First off, we aren't going to get just a reskinned Iowa, well, not even a reskinned Iowa, if we're going to talk about uh, Roma and the Latorio, how you could take the Azure Lane camo off of the Latorio, and it was just Roma, like the, the ship's name was still plastered onto the stern with the nameplate. So, I think that's a good sign. Because first off, they're moving away from just reskinning a ship, not changing anything about it, and literally giving it a permanent camouflage and charging it for a full price premium like they did with the Latorio without changing the ship's model. So I think that's a good thing that they're moving away from that and they're just giving us a skin for the Iowa. And they've done it before, of course, with the Yamato, the Latorio, yada yada, yada so forth and so on, like the Azuma too. The, the Azura Lane Azuma is just going to be the Azuma but with the Azura Lane camo on it and it's going to come with the uh, Azuma Commander. So I think it's good that they're not doing that. It's a sign of, you know, some change happening. Two, this obviously also could mean if it's not out of their you know the, the goodwill of wargaming it could also mean that they are in fact planning for a proper new jersey premium which i think is obviously what should happen a proper new jersey premium that's different from the iowa that's different from the missouri that has got its own set of traits and characteristics and such and they very well may be working on this and it may be coming up very soon it wasn't that long ago that the Iowa had, I think, her B hull or her A hull removed, and they moved the um, the B hull down to the A hull to make up for it because the Iowa used to have three holes you had to grind, uh, grind through. It was the hull that was basically the the Iowa when she was launched, and then the mid war um, refit, and then the late war refit. I believe they got rid of the first one, and then now you just go straight to the B-hole. That's now the A-hole, and you have the A-hole and the B-hole, and then that's it. 
which again they could take that a hole and make a new jersey make a, an early war iowa out of it or it could be the wisconsin too because we still have the wisconsin they could make as a separate premium as well so they could very well be working on that i think that's what this might be indicating too um when would it be coming out well it hasn't even been announced yet and this is of course just in um us thinking land this is in our specula speculation land that's the word i was looking for this could be coming out i mean obviously new jersey is a very high profile ship so it would obviously be around the fourth of july which i thought is what they were going to hold the hornet for and but no they sure didn't make it in time for the anniversary of the doolittle raid so whenever new jersey does eventually come out i think she will be coming out around the fourth of july of course so yeah and I do think New Jersey should, my idea for her at least, which I think would be a, a huge hit. And I, either way, the second they add New Jersey into this game, especially on the North American server, they're going to just absolutely print so much money, like more so than with the Missouri now. But my idea for New Jersey would be very simply taking the Massachusetts formula and applying that to the Iowa. Give her the same type of dispersion that the Massachusetts has, that kind of wonky dispersion, but you have the good American battleship dispersion to kind of rein it in. Give it the secondary treatment, you know, give it those long-range, accurate American secondary guns. Give it that nice, improved heel that, well, every high-tier American battleship gets, except for the Missouri, sadly. And, again, just slap it in the premium shop for a Tier 9 premium for however many dollars you want to charge um, us for. And, of course, probably like 90 or $100 because it is, again, the New Jersey. And sell away and print money war gaming. There's my idea. Take it. Please give us New Jersey. <laughs> I very, very, very much want to see her in-game. What you could do, Wargaming, since you've already gone off the deep end with super ships and submarines with homing torpedoes and such, just, just give us the 1980s refit of New Jersey. Give us the sea, sea whiz. Give us the surface to surface missiles. Just go in, all in on it. You can make it a super ship. You can make it um, either the New Jersey or the, or the Wisconsin. Then you can make the other one, the um, kind of, you know, tier 9 Massachusetts. I mean, why not? Why not? Again, you already got the homing torpedoes. You got, um, again, the super ships. Sea whiz could work kind of like a consumable. I mean, I, we are literally fighting jet aircraft now at tier 10 in like the Yamato that didn't. S see a jet in its entire life <laughs> so why not why not why not i mean it'd be, it'd be pretty fun it'd be kind of goofy it probably would be pretty broken but i mean a uh, an iowa at tier 11 that would get super ship matchmaking that would still have you know iowa levels of health and iowa levels of armor but would constantly be you know put up against you know like the satsuma and the handover but it would have those surface to surface missiles and the siwas and shoot throw radar in there why why why, why don't we why while we're at it i mean shoot what's the worst that's going to happen I, i'm mostly joking on this point this is sat this is satirical this is a sarcasm if your sarcasm meter is broken i'm just saying hey they could go for it and i don't think there would be a giant uproar at it they actually did mess around with uh, guided ship-to-ship -ship missiles way back in the day. I did a video on that, shoot, I think almost a year, year and a half ago now, if you're really interested in, in the prospect of missiles being added into the game. Unfortunately, we aren't getting a proper New Jersey. Again, I, I think it's a good step in the right direction that they aren't just recoding uh, a tech line ship and selling it as a premium, although they are straight up doing that with the, uh, the Azuma and the Aurora for some reason. I mean, again, an Azuma. Azuma's a good ship, don't get me wrong, but I don't think... Shoot, I mean, th there's a very good chance that there's somebody out here that, either through the Santa container event or through the Black Friday event, they've gotten two Azumas already, and they might wind up picking a random third. That would be something. You, you, you got an Azuma, and then, you know, you go through the Christmas container event, then you get... Um, another Azuma, either in the Azure Lane, I don't know if the Azure Lane ships are in the Santa Container event or whatever, you know, you get a random container, and rather than getting a new premium ship, you get another, um, Azuma, which, got that, that would be quite terrible. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's what's going on with the New Jersey, again, sadly not coming out as an actual, um, premium ship or a standalone ship just yet, but hopefully, again, with the few signs and hints that we've been seeing here and there, she will come out in the future as a proper premium, but... Again, Wargaming, feel free to, to, to use either of my ideas. 
Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. We're on the way to 35,000 subs. Just fast 34,700 a few days ago, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. I am planning on doing a pretty big giveaway for 35,000, so make sure you stick around for that. Again, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.